Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. My respects to you. I'm here for training. Yes, hear that boy Sir Radzik said. Yes, that's me. Let's get to it then, since that's what Sir Radzik wishes. Uh, and because you've never held a sword in your hand before, we'll start with something simple. Very well. Come with me and listen closely. I don't want to be repeating myself. Well, let's see what you're made of. Hold it properly. And keep moving. Never stand still when your life depends on it. Right, good. Now, try attacking. You've got to put your back into a good slash. No use waving the sword around like you're swatting flies. Go into the attack with your whole body. Try slashing from various sides to get used to it. Yeah. Good. Uh. Good. Uh. 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 That pointy tip isn't for decoration. Try stabbing me with it a few times. Well done. Like that. that will do. Slashing, stabbing, and movement are the foundations that you build everything else on. Now, let's try something more complicated. One strike, I can simply fend off. You mustn't give your opponent time to react. String your strikes together. As soon as you finish one, begin another. Strike, strike, strike. Well done. Good. Now let's see how you do with defense. It's not hard to block a basic strike. Just watch out and move your sword into the path of the blow. See what you're made of, lad. Come at me and don't hold back. As you can see, we are also leveling skills just by training. Fine enough. If you're not a complete dead loss, it'll be hard work to turn you into a master, but you have the basics. Let's try something more advanced. When in combat, keep an eye on the space between you and your opponent. That is your space. Try to attack from the side the opponent will find harder to block in time. If I'm holding the sword raised up, do an uppercut. If my sword is low, lunge. Let's try it. You strike a few times at the side where I'm not holding my sword. Good. Right, lesson two. Everything you've learned about blocking is wrong. When I cover, I can simply fend off your blows with my sword and gain control of the space between us. It's better not to control just the space, but actually your opponent's weapon. Attack, and I'll show you. All right, that will do. Now you. The trick is to stay in your stand. As soon as I start to attack, you block. The move knocks the blade aside. Well done. Well 
Well done. Ow. No, not like that. You mustn't hold a sword there. You have to move along with the attack. Again. Ow. Very good. Not bad. Right, now we'll try it a little faster. Concentrate and block just at the moment I start attacking. I'll strike you from above each time so you can see it well. Not bad. Not bad. Very good. Try it at full speed. You probably won't succeed, but that's normal at the start. You must train. Let's go. Ow. Ow. Greetings, Sir Hans. What brings you here? I was on my way when I noticed that you're entertaining Sir Radzig's esteemed guest. Not the same as holding a hammer, is it, blacksmith? It's Sir Radzig's orders. I know. I'm actually here to train at the archery range. My hand's grown heavy lately. You don't mind, do you, Bernard? Not at all, my lord. Good day to you, blacksmith's boy. Try not to hurt yourself. Where did we finish? Yeah, leading the opponent where you want him. There's one more way to evade a strike. You simply step aside, attack, and I'll show you. I don't have all day. All right, try it. It's important not to move too soon. I'll see where you're going and hit you. That the same will happen if you move too late. I'll attack slowly now. As you see me, raise the weapon, jump aside. You'll throw the opponent off a bit, and there's your chance. Uh. Wrong, damn it! Very good! Good! Uh. No, again! Fine. Now try it a little quicker. Try and get used to the rhythm. Never take your eyes off your opponent. You'll see a strike before it's even properly started. Well done. Ah, that's it. All right. And the last thing for today, a trick. You raise the sword to force your opponent to block. But then, change the direction of the attack at the last moment, and the opponent won't even know what hit him. Try it. Draw back the weapon, then change the attack zone and strike, so I don't have time to react. Ah, good. Mm. Very good. Ah. Ah. Very good. Mm. No! Ah. Well now, that wasn't too bad. Maybe we'll make a soldier of you after all. But don't get cocky. You have to train hard and persistently. You might have talent, but talent alone won't do. Practice. Don't leave yet. The Radzig also wanted me to teach you archery. Come with me. This arena training is very important. For example, without it you cannot learn perfect blocks. 
And perfect blocks are really important for fighting. So yeah, you're gonna have to do a little bit of main quest to get into this arena, but trust me, it's worth it. Later in this same arena we can also learn a few more tricks, which you cannot learn just by gaining perks. And you can train a lot with Captain Bernard and gain your levels for, for example, sword, strength, agility, defense. You don't have to leave this city in order to train or to level up. Let's see then. Take this bow, go and stand in position over there, and we can start. And another thing, put on this arm guard. Without it, you could flay your forearm with a bowstring, so be sure to wear it. Thank you, Captain. Save the thanks, and get in position. Now concentrate. A bow ain't exactly the weapon of choice of a knight, but it can come in very handy. You've got two bandits coming at you from a distance. You shoot one in the eye, drop your bow, and draw your sword on the other. Emperor Charles, God rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn archery. He even organized contests in Prague. But you wouldn't have gotten far there. You're holding the thing like a piece of firewood. But enough talk. There's the target. Try and hit it. Draw the bow, aim, and release. Try to get a feel for the rhythm. Inhale on the draw. Hold your breath for a moment. And then release the string. No jerky movements. Just let the string slide out of your fingers. As if you were about to draw it back more. It's all one movement, the arrow aiming at the target and flying at it. Shoot away. What you have there is a training bow. The arrow drops quickly. Once you've trained a bit, you can get yourself a better one, and then those arrows will fly so fast you won't see them. Don't forget the arm guard. Once you've mastered the bow a bit, you won't need it anymore. That flew nicely. Practice for a while. No nonsense. Well, that was awful. I didn't imagine a village yokel like you would have much skill, but you failed to meet even my low expectations. I don't know why you're wasting your time, Sir Bernard. Nothing will come of him anyway, and at the first sign of trouble, he'll run away like any other cowardly peasant. After all, he's done it before. What did you say? Calm down, boy. Keep in mind who you're talking to. The braggart who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Now, you've really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. Calm yourself, Sir Bernard. If the blacksmith's boy feels he can prove himself, then let him try. Do you think you can beat me? Well? Any time. Very well. If you defeat me, I'll give you my bow. If you lose, you'll have to pay up. Do you even have any coin? I have enough. Good, then let's get to it. Double Bullseye Triple Bullseye
amazing. Didn't expect that. Probably just wasn't your day, sir. I told you I have a heavy hand. Ever since I fell off that horse during the last hunt. What are you grinning about, boy? I think you owe me a little payback. How about a sword fight at the arena? If you like. Sir Hans, is this necessary? Sir Hanish has already had words about you fighting with your subjects. He explicitly told me. I know what he told you. You can just tell him I didn't listen to you. So what's it going to be, blacksmith? If we must. Excellent. Then let's go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You got the better of me this time, blacksmith. I must be having an off day. Are you all right, sir? Don't worry your mangy head about me, peasant. We'll see each other again soon enough. You can keep my bow. It's best years are behind it anyway. Hmm. You better hope his lordship hasn't taken it badly. He shouldn't have challenged me. Careful. You might be under Sir Radzig's protection, but you'd be wise to stay on good terms with the other noblemen, too. Now go to the Rathaus. House. The bailiff's waiting for you there. All right, Captain. Now, before we continue, I just want to mention that if you take out your bow, you can notice that this crosshair goes invisible. So your only orientation for aiming is the middle of your screen, which is very cool. Now, if you have a hard time with invisible crosshair, there is a console command which is gonna make it visible while aiming with bow. And I'm gonna leave you that command down below in the video description.
Okay, we have another quest here. To steal some documents. Let's do that. God be with you. Master Bailiff, is there anything of interest going on here? Nothing of interest to me, thank Christ. I'm to put myself under the Bailiff's command. Ah, so you're the young man Sir Radzig appointed? Yes. Very well. Sir Radzig asked me to test you a little, and as it happens, you've come at the right time. We've a few disputes to settle. It seems some of your former neighbors have been acting quite inappropriately. I was hoping having one of their own on the town watch might help sort things out. You can count on me, Bailiff. You're certainly bold. I like that. Have you been to see Captain Bernard? I have, and I have the breezes to prove it. The captain doesn't hold back. The harder the training, the easier the battle. Well, anyway, you're going to assist my town guard. Come to the church in the afternoon. Yaroslav the Watchman, Nightingale they call him, will wait for you there. He'll show you around the town and teach you a little about keeping the peace. And you need to stop by the armory to pick up some gear. Yes, Bailiff. I was told to pick up a kit here. Name? Henry. And? In fealty to? Sir Radzig Kobola. Hmm. Yes, I've got you. Well, come on in then. Make yourself at home, Henry. If my memory serves me, you're entitled to a helmet, a gambeson, and a club. That's all? You want a kiss and a hug as well? I mean equipment. It's quite enough for patrolling the town. You're there to stop trouble, not start it. Okay, so let's see, what did we get? We got this helmet. We got this. Coif. And... We got this gambeson. Which I'm gonna use because condition for my old one is zero. Which means that I'm gonna have to repair it. I could also repair my boots. Should I do that? Yeah, let's do that. Now you can repair it. Hey. Now you can repair boots 
by buying cobbler's kit this one or smaller one but if they fall on a very low condition then the only way to repair them is at this guy god be with you And there it is, old boots. So let's haggle for that. Let's have a word about the price. Why not? What about this? Come now, just a little more and we have a deal. Aw oh, man. Stop that! Okay, see you back at this spot. Okay, here I am back at this spot. Good day to you. I'd like to discuss the price. Why not? What about this? Well, a little more and we'll call it a deal. Oh, that's a decent price. And as you can see, the condition on our boots now is 100. Here I am. My name is Henry. We're supposed to go on patrol together? I see you're kitted out. Ready to get going. I'm Nightingale. Aren't you that lad the mill wench brought here on a cart? Teresa. Yes, she rescued me. She turned up with Captain Robard and his knights. All honor to the girl. She has bigger balls than most men. Tell me, how did you pay her back? Well, I am... Um... I thanked her. That's not much, is it? You should go and see her when you get a chance. So how did you end up in the service of the bailiff? I wanted to enter the service of Saradzik, but he sent me here to learn. And learn you will. You're lucky, lad. Saradzik must like you. Most lords would have just sent you on your way. Come with me, Henry. We'll patrol the town and then check on the taverns to make sure they lock up in the evening. I'm ready. Don't forget, I'm supposed to try you out and, with the help of God, teach you something. So I expect you to deal with any misconduct yourself. I'll make sure you don't do anything too stupid. Let's go. This is our church, St. Matthew's. It serves not only as the house of God, but as the crypt of the Lords of Lypa, our masters. The gravedigger lives right round the corner. The priest, too. Our parish priest. Ah, a man shouldn't speak ill about servants of the Lord. This is our rat house. Pretty big, eh? The bailiff and his hands live there and our Maestro Proto Notarius, the scribe, and the jailhouse. 
You don't want to see the inside, not even as a guard. Naturally, we have an executioner too, but he doesn't live in town. That wouldn't be proper, as I'm sure you know. He lives by Gallows Hill, the other side of the creek. This pillory was brand new in autumn, and two people have already been rotting on it. The swordsmith lives here. What the hell is going on here now? Go and check it out, Henry. Don't go to the church. Go back to your people. I don't want you here. Is that manure pile not big enough for you? Well, what are you two screeching about? Stop making such a ruckus. About time you turned up. This filthy beggar thinks. My name is Jane. No one cares what your name is. This filthy beggar thinks she can come and stink in front of my shop. I want you to get rid of her. What's the problem here? This is my shop, and I won't have beggars sitting on my doorstep. Let her go and squat in the square. She won't be in anyone's way there, and there's plenty of folk to beg from. Must you sit here, of all places? Yes, I do. Why? Folk drive me away wherever I sit. I can't keep walking all day and night. Can't you show us some Christian charity, Armourer? What? Have you any idea how much I've given away in alms, even to this witch only yesterday? Is that true? Might be. Might not. Did you get any alms or not? Yes. From the armourer here? I don't know. And even if I did, that was yesterday, and my belly's empty again today. That's true. What would you know about it? We're both good Christians, aren't we? We should each give something to the poor soul. And what then? Then Jane will be on her way. Immediately. King Solomon now, are you, lad? Fine. Fine. Have it your way. God bless you, and and you too, citizen. I won't be a nuisance no more, really. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus, you're as bad as each other. Your old neighbours are living here now. It's a bit of a shithole. Even so, you should be thankful to Sir Hanush. If the town burghers got their way, your folk wouldn't be led anywhere near the town. And now our people aren't too happy with him. Some fools are even calling for Sir Hanush to finally hand the fiefdom over to the young lord, Sir Hans Capon. Sir Hans's father, old Sir Yeshke, may God rest his soul, kept it till he was an old man. Then he retired from it, first to Moravia, then to eternity. Sir Hanush is managing the fiefdom until Sir Hans comes of age. They're related by blood somehow, the same great-great-grandfather or some such. The time's coming soon enough when the estates have to be handed over. These affairs often end in conflict. I hope we have nothing like that here. This square here, it looks much better during the markets. Then it's filled to bursting with folk from all around. We've also got the baker's shop here. And that mad merchant Wolfram Pruder. Pruder has a pretty daughter, but he keeps her on a short reign, which the young bucks are none too happy about. I heard he even keeps the poor lass locked up at home all day.
There's one alehouse here on the market square, the trader's tavern. The other's up by the gate. We'll be going there later. Let's move along to the inner bailey. Look here. See that filthy beggar? By Christ, I'll show the bastard. Comfortable, are we? Arms, please, sir. Who do you take me for? Are you stupid or just insolent? Well, what's the matter? Stupid, then. There's no begging allowed here, so pick up your stinking arse and haul it somewhere else. Who am I bothering here? Me. Us. Everyone. If Sir Hanu saw you here, he'd take a whip to you. All right, all right, I'm going. Damn beggars. You offer them a helping hand, and they want the whole arm. It's not like the rules aren't clear. Beggars belong at the church. Here's the forge. The blacksmith has some trouble and he's not working at the moment, but his apprentice is standing in for him tolerably. I hear you're a blacksmith's apprentice too. You lot could help if needed, couldn't you? Us? What do you mean? You and your master, or your father, whoever taught you. They... What is it, lad? My father was the master blacksmith. He was killed in Scalitz. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Thank you. So am I. My papa died not long ago. Of course, it was old age got him. That's not the same, but I know a little how you feel. Rate fiefdom is pretty big. Naturally, it starts here by the town and continues along the Sassau River all the way to Kohelnitz. Then there's Gallows Hill, lots of farmhouses scattered around. Neuhof, Merhoyed. Master Smill is in charge of Sir Hanush's stables. He's by far his best vassal. It's all a bit complicated for a newcomer, I suppose. This lord here, that lord there, this exemption here, that right there. Exemptions from exemptions, rights to half of something, so on. It'd take you a year to make head or tail of it. This tower was only half the size when I was a young lad. Sir Hanush had it extended and made into an armory. be with you, Benesh. How goes it? Well enough, Nightingale. It's quiet today. Good. Where's Moimir, anyway? Isn't he supposed to be here with you? Ah, uh, yes. He hasn't turned up yet. Oh, I see. Now, where might he have got to, then? I don't know. You don't know, eh? Let me tell you something. When the bailiff finds out Moimir's slacking off, he'll be in serious shit. And being a friend of his, you wouldn't want that, would you? No. So it's better if I deal with it and we leave the bailiff out of it, right? Um, yes, I suppose so. So where is he? In the tavern. 
He was thirsty, so he went for an ale. We know how that goes. Come on, Henry. Let's go and find that idler, and you'd better talk some sense into him. There. There. That's a lot better. What the fuck are you doing here when you're supposed to be on the gate? Move your carcass and go and guard the gate. Not a word. Get moving. You're lucky it was me found out, not the bailiff, or God forbid, Captain Bernard. Out! Come and sit with me, Henry. Let's have a drink. Fool got me all worked up. Shouldn't we be on patrol instead of drinking? You're eager, aren't you? Don't worry, even watchmen are entitled to a break. Except the ones on the gate and the tower, of course. But that's enough about that. Let's not let it spoil our day. Listen, since we're sitting here anyway, how about a little game? Why not? Okay, let's take a look at the help. So, one is worth 100 points and five is worth 50 points. But any other dices are worth if you have three, four or five of a kind. Okay. So we have one. And two fives. Okay, let's score and roll again. Ah, oh, man. Coming. Finished. Come on, come on. Should I risk it for one more? Let's risk it. Oh, yes. This will be the one. We'll see. Mm. Should I? Shouldn't I? No, I daren't. Here, enjoy it. Should I risk it? Why not? And... Nice. Should I? Shouldn't I? No, I daren't. Here you are. And That's you it. This will be the one. Hmm. I don't believe it. Nice. Hmm. 
Oh man, he's gonna beat me now. No, I'm for the Yes. Shot. Amazing score and pass. Just one more thing and we're done for the night. Ringing the end of the day and what is it? closing the taverns. Isn't it still a bit early? I don't know how it was in Scarlet, but here in Rate we close up at this hour. Except, of course, during fairs and big festivals. Then we don't close at all. I see. Should I go and ring the bell? If you wouldn't mind, the bell is hanging outside the Rat House. Ring three times, then go to the Trader's Tavern by the Market Square and make sure the innkeeper closes up. I'll do that. Before I forget, it's forbidden to walk in Rate at night without a torch. Here, take this one. You all know what happened there. Help your neighbor. Okay, so the guards are not saying anything about the torch, so I'm not gonna equip it and waste it. Would you believe it? I broke a spoke in my cartwheel again yesterday. What? Again? How many times is that this month? Three times. Would you credit that? Where did it happen this time? Over there on the old road. And I didn't even hit a pothole. I was just rolling along, and it went crack out of the blue. Bad luck comes in threes, eh? So it's back to the wheelwright again, and more to pay. It makes me wonder. I had my doubts about him. Ah, nonsense. I know the wheelwright. He's an honest fellow. But what could he do to cause it anyway? What do I know? I don't make wheels. Maybe he fixed it with bad wood. Don't let your imagination run away with you. It's just a spot of bad luck. There's worse things. Look around you. There's Sigismund and his Tatar hordes marauding all over the country. We're all lucky to be alive at all. True. Thank the good Lord for that. What is it? And the canon of St. Wenceslas in Olomouc was so drunk, <laughs> he dragged the pig to the market square, saddled it up, <laughs> and rode it out of the town gate. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 we can, we can see, we can see that this wasn't going to end well. So, Sir Peter and I rode off to look for the good cannon on his pig. <laughs> Did <laughs> you find him? <laughs> we tracked the filthy beast down to a sty beyond Cronau. I mean, the beast with a tonsier on its head. <laughs> we never found the real pig, but the Reverend was sound asleep in the pig sty. <laughs> <laughs> Birds of a feather stick together. It seems the same goes for pigs and planets. <laughs> I toast, gentlemen, to pigs and planets. God <laughs> save their bacon. <laughs> so, Hans, forgive my intrusion, but I need... Oh, but what? You uh, want to join us? Want to <laughs> buy us around? <laughs> I'm afraid we don't drink with peasants. You're not in your village now, boy. No, sir. <laughs> Curfew's been rung. The alehouse is closing. <laughs> Nothing closes while I'm sitting here. 
If that's all, you're dismissed. Are you out of your mind, lad? You can't cross his lordship. He's got a temper like a bear with gut egg. If I was you, I'd get lost before he shows it. The bailiff instructed me to close the tavern at the proper hour. He doesn't want anyone disturbing the peace after curfew. The bailiff? The bailiff can kiss my ass. I trust you haven't forgotten who's the rightful lord of Ratte. No, it's Sir Hannes. Oh, is he here? What is he? He's hiding under the table, maybe. <laughs> no, then what he wants isn't worth a fart in a bathhouse. And besides, he's only in charge till I grow up. <laughs> Which clearly hasn't happened yet. Enough. You can't talk to me like that. I'm a nobleman. Come now, sirs. You're not going to fight here, are you? We most definitely are. This yokel needs to be taught his place. Christ is happening here! Hell! Answer me, damn you! This peasant insulted me. I had to teach him a lesson. By rolling around in the mud like a hog? That's a fine example of noble conduct! Sir Hannes, the bailiff ordered me Silence. to- Silence! You shut your mouth and thank your lucky stars that you are Radzig's ward! Have you gone out of your mind? Raising your hand to a nobleman? And you, Hans! How many times have I told you that drinking with your subjects might be good for their morale, but it's bad for your honor? <sighs> you spend all your days drinking and chasing wenches, which wouldn't matter if you paid any attention at all to your duties. And now we see what that leads to. Tomorrow, you will go with me to a hearing. Some landowners will ask me to settle a dispute. It'll be an excellent lesson for you. I had planned to go hunting, but if you think listening to the pointless gripes of a bunch of old fools will benefit me, so be it. Oh, hunting. Well then, Your Grace, I'll tell you what. You can go hunting. Really? Oh, naturally. Who am I to deprive the young Lord Capon of his sport? And you can take Henry here as your page. Well, him? Absolutely not. You'll do as I've commanded. It's time you learned how to lead people, and not just in drinking and brawling. Now get out of my sight! Sir, I have responsibilities of the bailiff. Not I anymore! Can't... Your responsibilities now are the Lord Capon. It's time you learned how to behave in the presence of nobility. Let's go. Tell the kitchen I'm hungry. It's been a long journey. Go, bloody hogs. Good day to you. What do you need? Do you know if there's anyone around here who could use my help? Could be. You're the blacksmith's son from Scullets, ain't you? The bailiff here could probably use you. He's got some jobs for the Scalitz refugees, but he's not sure who's good for what. He was moaning about it here yesterday. Do you know if there's anyone around here who could use my help? Mm. No one I can take off. Okay. Here I am. And? You want to go hunting now? God's holy breaches. Come to the stables in the morning like a normal person.
Okay, so what can we do now? Where is that guy? He is definitely here. Let me unequip all clanking stuff. Okay, I can do this. Nice. Amazing. Oh, yes. Okay, let's go to sleep. Where the hell were you brought up? Don't you know you have to have a light after dark? Yeah, yeah. Now, I could fast travel, but I really wanna run to gain up some vitality. Be a bit more careful.
it's a really beautiful night. God save you. I have the stolen parchment for you. Ha <laughs> ha! Good work! And I have a few groschen for you in exchange. Once again, I'm out of paid work. I can help you there. But once you find out what I have in mind, you may want to reconsider. I see. Am I to free the king from imprisonment, or steal Sir Divish's finest steed? Pray, do tell. You know what? You're not that far off the mark. Sir Hanush has in his possession a certain beautifully illuminated volume. Not that he knows how to read, mind. He got it as a gift from someone. But it's not much use to him. I can think of a better use for it. Don't tell me that you can read. Ha! Never let it be said I'd waste my time on such trifles. But I do have a buyer ready. And as you can imagine, a book like that, decorated with pure gold, will cost him dear. I trust your reward will be generous. Where will I find this book? Have I ever let you down? Fear not, Hal. This time you'll be getting more than usual. Because of the extra risk, Stealing from your own liege lord. If they catch you, we've never met, understood? You'll find the book right there in Hanush's chambers at the castle. It won't be easy to get in, but I'm confident you'll figure it out. Best of luck. Can you tell me... What's the local lord like? Sir Hanush? He treats his people well. But he's tough as an old oak. The way things are these days, I wouldn't wonder if he and his men started kicking some asses. What's Sir Han's cape on, like? Ah, that worthless dandy. Sir Hanish has to knock some sense into him, or I dread to think what will become of this place when he takes over. Do you know Sir Bernard, the rat eye captain? He's a grumpy bastard, but fair, I'd say. That's all. Okay, I think it's time for us to check all skills. First, let's go with... Main level. So with main level, we are getting perk for every second level we reach. Okay, and we already know the first aid, which allows us to use bandages. Let's see, what is this? Okay, so this is interesting. If you like to sleep in a very bad bed. Oh, nice. This is a very good perk. 
because it doesn't have any side effects. Like this one, or maybe this one. Or even this one. Nice, this is a very very good perk. I might get that right away. This is also good if you like to go to jail. So this one can't be combined with this one. And they are two opposite perks. I might get this one as well, because I'm gonna bleed a lot. And for fast traveling, I think I'm not gonna fast travel that much. So as you can see, there are plenty of perks with side effects. And I like most of them that don't have any side effect. Like this one. Yeah, definitely this one. Okay, let's check out strength. You can pause and read if you want all of this. So strength gives us perk point at every other level up. Okay, now this is very nice perk. And this one as well. This is definitely a good perk. And this one... Uh, meh, not so much. At least in my opinion. Oh, nice. This is a good one. How many perks do I have unspent in strength 3? I kinda wanna get this one right away. And I'm gonna get it. And 
may be this one. Or this one. Hmm. Okay, on to agility. Agility will give us perk points at every fourth level. So this perk we got with Captain Bernard. This is a nice perk. Okay, on to Vitality. So, Vitality will give us perk point at every third level up. Okay, so these two perks are opposite. You bleed slower. I think I'm gonna get this one. This one is good if you want to eat rotten food. Oh nice, this is something like last stand. But for stamina. Okay, this one is good if you fight with a group of enemies. Okay, this is the last stand. Nice, so basically Vitality has a lot of good perk points. Okay, on to Speech. Okay, so speech will give us perk points at every fourth level up. So these two perks are opposite of each other. Now this is something that I can't wait to get. Okay, now on to combat skills. Defense. 
As you can see, defense unlocks perk at these levels. And we got a perfect block from Sir Bernard in the arena when we trained. Nice, this is nice perk if you are using shield. Now you can damage your opponent's weapons more with this perk. But if you loot them, those weapons are gonna be worth less if you want to sell them. Nice. Now this is a very good perk. Okay, on to Warfare. Now this is an interesting perk, because the more your weapon is damaged, it has a higher chance to poison someone. But it's also gonna deal less damage on hit, because it has lower condition. This one is interesting as well. So basically for X you can learn these combos. Mace as well has few combos. And look at the sword. It has more perks compared to Axe and Mace.
Okay, now on to skills. First one is drinking. Haha, <laughs> true slav. Cool. Nice! This is something like teleport. It's so cool. Okay, herbalism. We already saw this, but let's go through it again. Okay, now this is a good perk. Nice, 15 more damage while mounted. Hunting is basically for taking animal trophies. These first two perks are so cool for lockpicking. And this one as well. I can't wait to get them all.
Okay, so these were all skills and stats, and I can't wait to get them all. Or most of them. And we will continue this in the next episode, so if you liked this one give it a like, dislike if you think it sucked, and see you next time. Thank you.